Welcome to another episode of Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Uh, this particular note is on Russian banknotes as a collecting theme. A teacher I work with here in Oklahoma City shared with me that her class had been talking about my videos and my YouTube channel. I asked her if I could make a video for her class. She mentioned that they are presently studying Russia, so... Here are some notes uh, for Ms. M's class, along with some embedded questions that might work for some online research and perhaps provide an easy grade. Enjoy. All the notes I'm showing in this uh, episode are from Russia. And the first note I want to share with you is a Russian three ruble that has shoulders. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah has shoulders on the soldiers that appear on the left side of this note. To the right is a big three, which makes this note not just a military note, but it makes it a note of an odd denomination. The back of the note is pretty ornate, but pretty incomprehensible to those of us who don't uh, do a lot of work in Russian. Although there are some Western alphabets in there. If you look closely, you can probably see for yourself that there are some things in there that uh, show up that are readable. This uh, note is interesting, and a question that might go along with this bank note might be, what events in Russia might have contributed to the militarization or the military theme you see on their bank notes of 1938? The next note I'm going to share with you guys is a Russian 10 ruble from 1961. It's a beautiful red-colored note. Red is a predominant theme on it. And if you turn the note over, you see a number and a letter-rich design. <laughs> My embedded question for this note might be, um, who is that dude on the 10 ruble? The third note I have from Russia for um, Ms. M's class is this banknote, which fits the screen, but everything looks sideways and weird. It's because this banknote should be oriented up and down. Let's see if I can't change how you view the note. It's hard to focus in, although I blame myself more than I do uh, the note. This note actually commemorates the Sochi Winter Olympics. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the note here, you see uh, representations of the various stadiums that hosted the Olympic events. The main focus of the note is a snowboarder. The other side of this vertical note shows another stadium. And if you look carefully in the background on this note, you see many little winter events that are... Um, representing some, maybe not all, of the Winter Olympic Games uh, and events that are there, but maybe a lot of them. And so my question for this note might be, what Olympic events appear on this note? And if you can't see it, can you Google the note and get a closer image? I bet you can. I'm going to go ahead and leave the orientation like this because the next note is also a Russian note that has a vertical orientation. This note is 100 ruble from 2015, and it commemorates, celebrates, or honors, according to the Russians, the annexation of the Crimea. So you see on this side a bunch of ships, um, a memorial, and some buildings, some maps, all having to do with the Crimea. And if you turn the note over, you can see some additional scenes that celebrate the Crimea. But what are these scenes? Where are they? What is the Crimea? Where is the Crimea? What events contributed to Russia's action in taking land from another sovereign nation and claiming it as their own? That might be a good research topic class. And finally, I want to share a 2018 100 ruble that celebrates dun, 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 what sport class? If you said football, you might be right in some countries. But if you said soccer in the United States, we might understand what you're talking about. This does celebrate the World Cup soccer events. Um, you see a little boy. He's carrying a soccer ball that will change colors depending on how the note is tilted. 
kind of like some of our notes here in the U.S. You see another, um, I don't even know what they're doing because I'll be honest, I barely know that that's a soccer ball. But I do know that when you turn the note over, you see a lot of themes. Up here you see crowds holding up trophies and you see the planet Earth shaped like a soccer ball and you see a map outline of the nation of Russia. And down here you see some more of the geometric shapes that make up the the football. And I thought that a suitable question for this note might be, who has hosted and who has won the last five World Cup series? Good questions for a good class. I have made arrangements to make sure your teacher has the answers. And um, I wish you a lot of fun. I wish you a lot of success. And tell me in the hallway if you like the video. You can also go to my YouTube channel, Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Like and share. I've had a lot of success with it the past 17 days, and I have enjoyed the process. Take care.